Now to developing news out of Agawam, where the town is mourning the loss of an Agawam High School student who drowned late last night. Western Mass News reporter Glenn Kittle joins us live in Agawam with the latest information. Glenn. the fatal drownings of a 17 year old boy in a swimming pool at a home in Agawam. Now local leaders are taking actions in the aftermath of this death to help the students who are mourning the loss. A devastating drowning in a private swimming pool claimed the life of an Agawam High School student late Monday night. Agawam police tells us in a statement, quote, Agawam police and fire department responded to a residence in the Feeding Hills section of Agawam. A 17 year old male was reported to be unresponsive in a swimming pool. Life saving measures were attempted and failed. We spoke with Agawam Mayor William Sapelli. He tells Western Mass News he visited Agawam High School on Wednesday, where he says the school is providing services to help students, educators, and staff mourn the loss of one of their own. The entire counseling department was in huddling, reaching out via computer to find out who the close friends were, um, who the teachers were, so they could make sure that everybody kind of was uh, checked in with and seen if they needed uh, any counseling. Agawam High School sent an email to parents on Wednesday saying in part, quote, your children may have varied reactions to the death of a peer. Any reaction is normal in the grief process and can range from withdrawal to anger to extreme sadness. School counseling services have been made available today and for the foreseeable future. Mayor Sapelli echoed the school's email with a personal message to the family of the victim and his loved ones. It's just uh, such a tragic, tragic situation that uh, the whole community is, is, is mourning for them and uh, the, our thoughts and prayers are with the family at this awful, awful, tragic time. The incident is currently under investigation by the Agawam Police Detective Bureau and the Massachusetts State Police. Reporting in the studio, Glenn Kittle, Western Mass News.